Hello everybody and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. I know it's been a while guys, but I am back from my hiatus. Had a really crazy time in my life, but I'm not going to get into it. We're just going to get right back into our games. This is week 13, game number one. We are going to go through all of these games, or the uh, regular season games that is, very quickly. And then we'll get on to our conference championship games. And then our bowl games. And then we'll finish out the season. And the long-awaited recruiting video will be out after that. So you guys, if you have not added a player yet, you can go ahead and add one. And be sure to join our Discord as well. I think we have close to 70 members right now. But you guys can get a sneak peek at some of the uh, pro football teams that we have for our upcoming professional football league. If you haven't uh, seen the video for that, you'll get a sneak peek for all those teams. And you'll know all the states that are getting teams as well. And that'll be fun. I can't wait for that. That'll be coming out here in a few months most likely. I just have a, a lot of stuff going on right now. But hopefully I can get the league reveal video done and out to you guys so everybody can see that. But let's get into this, folks. Bryant Bulldogs, 7th in the country, 10-0 on the season, taking on the 5-5 five five Southern Jaguars here in the ACC. I will see you guys down on the field here in a moment. This is Brad Nessler with, as always, Lee Corso and Kurt Herbstreit. And we've got more rain in the forecast for today's game between the Bulldogs and Jaguars. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. Here come the Jaguars. The Bulldog, too powerful to be stopped in this game. Kurt Roth. The away team is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and he, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the run. Nice pick, boy. I really, these guys are going to do it. All right, you heard it from Lee Corso himself. We'll see how that pick pans out. In the meantime, let's go down to the coin toss. Everybody's picking the Bulldogs, and I, of course, am picking the Bulldogs as well. They have Brandon Allen at halfback. He's number two in the country for yards and touchdowns behind MJ Gator Jr. And Montanez gets sacked here. Very rare sack against this Bulldog offense. Third and 13. And well, Montanez is sacked again two times here on the first drive of the game. And then bring up fourth and 19. Bulldogs will have to punt the football away. Now before this game, their punter was suspended for the rest of the season, so their kicker is now taking over for him. It doesn't matter. Here's Tatum with the interception. And this Bulldogs defense, they are nasty. And they get a takeaway here on the Jaguars' first drive of the game. And that was way too easy. Just step right in front of it. See how the Bulldogs respond. Brandon Allen gets the draw play right side. Breaks it to the outside inside the 10. And gets down to the 6-yard line. First down and goal. Now third down and goal. Third down conversion percentage. First in the country, the Bulldogs are. Having a fantastic season in that regard. In a lot of regards, actually. Montanez is going to punch it in for 6. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And they'll take the lead early on with an 11-yard touchdown run from Noel Montanez. That is his sixth touchdown run of the season. Go along with now 200 rushing yards. The pass left side, and it's intercepted by Tady and Moss at the 40-yard line. And there's a flag for holding on the Jaguars. That'll be declined, and Tady and Moss will get credit for his sixth interception of the year. But the Bulldogs go three and out, and here are the Jaguars. Great completion on the sideline to Patterson. A little toe drag swag. With a big time pickup at the 45 yard line. First down, Newbie is sacked, and that is Cy Summers. Just a fantastic athlete. That's his fifth sack on the year. And here's more close to the marker. Very close. I'm not sure if they give it to him. No, they don't. Third and inches. Newbie, quick pass, deflected, intercepted by Coleman. And he'll get it up to the 42 yard line. Another takeaway for this Bulldogs defense. They are too good at taking the ball. And that was just a nice tip drill. Coleman had his eye on the ball and actually caught it for once. Montanez, pump fakes over the middle and that is McCoy, first down inside Jaguar territory. Brandon Allen off tackle, right side, past the 40, breaks the tackle, still going, breaks another inside the 30 yard line. Gonna toss it out to Allen. He's gonna throw the football. Left side. LJ Topher's got it. And Topher escapes 
into the end zone. Brandon Allen with a touchdown pass today. What a play. And that will be his 32nd total touchdown on the season. LJ Telfer collects his eighth touchdown catch of the year. He also has a kick turn for a touchdown and two punt returns for scores. And that was just awful defense. Defender dove and completely whiffed on the ball. They're down at 10 for the Jaguars. Newbie deep shot over the middle. Picked off again. It's Tatum. And he gets it inside the 40-yard line. It's the second pick of the game. He also has four deflections. We're still in the first quarter, folks. This is going to get ugly. Now in the second quarter, first and 10. Montanez in the shotgun formation. Off tackle. Brandon Allen left side. And he'll pick up nine yards as he gets taken down in the open field. Toss play out to Allen. Left side. He's got the speed. And he goes untouched for the score. His 26th touchdown run of the year. Abrams injured on the play. Hopefully he's all right. 21-0 is the score now. Lowry right side. Connects with Wallace at the 45-yard line. First down. Southern. Lowry going to throw it again. Right side. Deflected away by Smith. Almost intercepted. Now the backup quarterback is in for the Jaguars. Montanez right side. Chucks it out deep middle. Up to Topher is there. He's got the completion. Huge pickup. Now second and five. Brandon Allen jukes to the outside. Nice stiff arm on the linebacker. First down and more. Jukes and down at the 23-yard line. 92 yards today on eight carries. Play action. No, this is a wide receiver reverse. Snoopy Tucker has it inside the 10. Tracked down at the 8-yard line. Great run by the receiver. Third and goal from the 1. Montanez punches it in again. That is his 7th touchdown run this season. And the Bulldogs pouring it on now against their ACC opponent. Nice broken tackle from Brandon Allen. It's 28-0, folks. About to be more. Oh, my goodness. Spin move. Fakes out two defenders at once. Montanez, quick pass. Brandon Allen. He's going to have the first down and more. Picks up maybe 15. And I apologize for the drop frames, guys. Someday on this channel, I will have amazing quality. And Allen, nice dive there. Just short of the end zone. And Montanez is going to have his third touchdown run of the game. Giving him eight on the season. Having a Tim Tebow-esque performance right now. Lowry is sacked. And that was Ruben Blueberry. Huge sack. That's his ninth on the year. That'll bring up the half. 35-0. Bryant on top. Southern only 55 yards of offense. Four turnovers. And the backup quarterback in. Lowry, he's hit as he throws. Goes deep down the right side. He connects with Wallace. And the Jaguars are going to find the end zone for the first time today. Huge play. 78-yard touchdown pass from the backup quarterback. The speedy Wallace. Allen gets the carry, breaks the tackle, still going, hurdles in the open field, jukes to the outside, he might go the distance, and Brandon Allen will find the end zone yet again. What a run for the Heisman hopeful. It's really no contest, folks. It's going to be MJ Gator Jr. or Brandon Allen hosting the trophy at the end of the season because of plays like this, their stats are just ridiculous, and I can't wait to watch them next year with better offensive linemen. That'll be fantastic. 42-7 is the score. Lowry is going to be dropped for a sack again. And I didn't see the number on that. It might have been Stephon Okafor. If it was, that'll be his third sack of the year. Allen still in the game, following his blockers. Breaks the tackle, gets to the outside again. That's the 40, the 50. And down at the 42-yard line. Great touchdown saving tackle by number seven. AJ Jordan now in the game. Number two halfback, he is also a monster, and he has injured his leg on the play. A.J. Jordan actually has 1,100 yards rushing now on the season with 16 scores. Brandon Allen again down to the 13-yard line, taken down in the open field once again. Allen toss play right side, inside the 10, and he's going to find the end zone yet again. His third touchdown run of the game, and that will give him 28 on the season. 35 total touchdowns for Rimsai Summers. Comes through for the sack again. And that is his sixth sack of the year. Lowry pressured by Summers again. And they're going to give Summers a sack here. Looks like he punched him in his back. Oh my goodness. It's not <laughs> It's not UFC, buddy. Allen toss play right side as the Bulldogs continue to destroy the Jaguars. Nice juke move. And carries the defender down to the 21-yard line. 
Allen gets a counter. Left side, it's too easy. He finds the end zone again. His fourth touchdown run today. He also has a passing touchdown. Give him five total touchdowns. Here's the third string halfback in the game. Jukes and carries a guy for 16 yards. So even the third string halfback's getting some love. And they'll keep giving it to him. Right side, first down and more in the open field. Davis all the way down inside the 10-yard line. Doesn't matter who they give the ball to. This Jaguars defense cannot stop it. And Davis is going to find the end zone. Now his first touchdown run of the year, I believe. I don't really keep tabs on the non-subscriber players. But he's having a great game. And deep kick into the end zone. Walker from one yard deep. And he's going to have, have himself a nice return up past midfield. And Walker takes it the distance. I'm hoping special teams improves quite a bit for season two once we get some good recruits on all these other schools in the country. So we don't see ridiculous special team stats. Again, here's Davis. Oh my goodness, Davis making two defenders whiff. And he finds the end zone high, stepping his way. Another touchdown. 51-yard touchdown for the backup halfback. Well, the backup's backup, really. And that'll be the final score, 70-17. to Southern falls to 5-6. and six. Bryant, number 7 in the country, improves to 11-0. and oh. And they are on a collision course to match up with Savannah State in the ACC championship game. Now, Savannah State can still lose their division. They have a big matchup today, and that's going to be against uh, South Carolina State. If they beat them, they have a shot at winning it still. So something crazy could happen. You never know. But I do like Savannah State's chances of matching up with Bryant in the title game. I don't see anyone else even coming close to beating the Tigers. I think New Hampshire was the only team that had a shot other than the Bryant Bulldogs. 70-17, uh, to 17, folks. Brandon Allen threw the ball twice today. 2 of 2, 37 yards and a score. Montanez, 8 of 14, 143 yards. No touchdowns, no picks. Sacked twice, both on the first drive and wasn't touched again. Allen, 295 yards today, 4 touchdowns. Wes Davis, the third string halfback, 5 carries, 113 yards and 2 scores. So just a beastly performance by the off offensive line today and the two running backs that really had a lot of work. Six runs of 20-plus yards today for Brandon Allen. Eight broken tackles, no fumbles. Huge stat for this Bulldogs team this year. Not a whole lot of fumbles. Just five fumbles combined for Montanez Allen and Jordan on the year. Kenneth Harrington allowed a sack today, and that is going to be his second sack allowed on the season. He's in the running for the Best Offensive Lineman Award. I do believe he should get it. There's also a couple other of our subscriber linemen that are having fantastic seasons as well. But Kenneth Harrington has just been a monster at left tackle this season. Summers, four tackles for a loss, three sacks. So that'll give him seven on the season. He is just an absolute stud. He's definitely one of my favorite players in this dynasty so far. I love playing with him. It, he just hits like Ray Lewis. It's so easy to get a big hit with him. A lot easier than it is with other players. Coleman did pretty decent on punts today, filling in for the suspended Brashers. Topher, four punters, 30 yards. And there's the players of the game. Allen, Montanez, Davis, the third string halfback. Wallace, Walker, and Lowry, players of the game for the Jaguars. Our next Brian Bulldog game, final game of the season for them, the regular season. They'll be hosting the North Dakota State Bison in a rematch from our FCS North Tournament. That'll be a great subscriber versus subscriber matchup. Speaking of that, we have one coming up next. UC Davis taking on Southern Utah. I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.